She told me herself. She's a very good girl. She said it to me a while ago. Mommy, I'm coming back soon. She said, don't be sad because I'll be back. So you don't need to be sad either. Mother. Wipe your pretty eyes. Wipe your pretty eyes. Mother. Oh, Mason, Erin is here, and you never told me she was. You should have woken me up and let me know right away. Mom, Erin is ill, and she needs to rest, so let's get out and really, leave Really, Erin, darling? You're not feeling well? What's wrong? Mom, she really needs to lie down and get some rest. Come with me now. Let's go downstairs so she can get her rest. Oh, okay, dear. Let me make you a hot drink. That'll make you feel better. You can drink it when you get up, and you'll feel better. Come, Come on, on, Mom. You rest a little bit, and you'll feel better. Lie back now, Erin. Lie back. Come on, Mason, get her a blanket. Okay, Mom, I'll come back and do that. Hello, boss. No, no, nothing is wrong. We're all doing fine. I just stepped out for a minute. What do you mean, why? I need to find out about Aaron. I called the hospital, but they won't tell me anything. No way! No way. Aaron goes with me or we're not going anywhere. No way. Yes, it's very risky. I know that, but I don't have any other option, do I, boss? You have lots of connections. Could you find that out for me? Just things like how she is and where she is, and if she's out of the hospital, that'd be enough for me. Okay, thanks for the help. Okay, I'll be waiting for your call. God, the hell is she? Jesus. Do you know we found a body yesterday? He had your chauffeur, William Toklu's ID card on him. I know, yes, I heard. I hope it's not him. I can't believe that is him. Well, we'll have to see. According to the autopsy results, the age is consistent with William Toklu's. We took DNA, of course, from Kenny Toklu, William Toklu's son. We'll know for certain fairly soon when we get the test results, but you know how it is. These things take time. Yeah, of course. <sighs> Did he drown? No. He was shot in the heart with a single bullet. The body was dumped into the sea later. The killer clearly tried to get rid of the body. Okay. As to why I wanted to talk to you today, Mr. Gerald, William Toklu's only son, Kenny Toklu, he made a statement to the police last night that he hadn't seen his father for a very long time, and according to him, you were the last person to speak to his father. Hmm. That's true, he had spoken to me. He had asked for my permission to go back to his hometown, briefly. What was his business there? Well, I don't know that. I didn't ask him about it. Uh, he said he needed to go to his hometown to sort out some stuff, and I said, that's fine with me, go ahead. And you never and saw him again after that? Uh, after that? Yeah, he called me a few more times. Uh, he said it was gonna take longer than he thought, and he asked me permission to stay longer. And as you probably know, I was preoccupied at that time. My son had been kidnapped and was thinking of very little else. We're going through a very difficult period as a family. I didn't give it too much thought, I suppose. I said, okay, you can come back when you have sorted hey, when was that? everything out. Well, uh, I really don't remember that. Okay, where did he call you from? Car phone, cell phone? As I said, it was such a difficult period for our family, you know? Uh, I can't remember where he called me from, to be honest. Mr. Gerald, we couldn't find any record of such a telephone call. I see. Uh, to be clear, sir, to be completely honest, William had never called me. And when he disappeared, his family got very worried, naturally. And 
To tell you the truth, I had to make up this lie just to calm them down. What really happened was this. Uh, before William officially disappeared, he was involved in an accident with my car. He ran into a homeless man, and then he asked me for money. Uh, he said he needed to disappear for a while, and I said that it was okay, so then he left. You assisted him committing a crime? No, not true. I mean, that's obviously what happened, but it wasn't my intention when he asked me for my help. As I said, it was a very difficult time for me. I didn't stop to think about anything, to be honest. He came to me, and he begged and cried and all of that. Uh, he told me that he was in a fix. Uh, I wasn't thinking clearly at the time. I gave him the money he wanted, and he went on his way. Now that I really think about it, I'm beginning to suspect him too, you know what I mean? Maybe he was working with the men who kidnapped my son. Maybe. Uh, they may have had a falling out, and the men may have gotten rid of him. Who knows? I really don't know. I don't know. Hello? Did you find out something? That was really quick. I'm quite impressed. Okay, then. What happened? How is she? Where is she? Are you sure of that? So she's gone back to that bastard's house? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll see. No, don't worry. I'll be careful. Besides, what else can I do in this situation? Yeah, goodbye. Mother, listen. It's only for a day. I promise you that Erin is ill. I don't want you to catch whatever she has, too. That's why... Why else would I ask you for this favor, huh? Please, for my sake, come on. I can't go anywhere right now, Mason. I'm telling you that Inez is coming home. Are you deaf? Are you sick, too? Camille, please excuse me, but I forgot to tell you something earlier. What did you forget? I saw Inez a while ago. Oh, that is really good news. Why didn't you tell me this before? I don't know. I didn't have the chance, and then I forgot. What did she say? She's on her way, Susie? Yes, she's on her way. Uh, but she's coming straight to my house instead. Why? She told me that she missed my fruitcake. She said Mom makes her as hard as a rock. She's kidding. <laughs> she likes my fruitcake, doesn't she? Yeah, Camille, I think she was kidding. I'm just repeating what she said. You can ask her yourself when she comes over. Uh, I should get going because I need to bake the cake before she comes. Wait, wait, I'm gonna come with you two. And in fact, I'm gonna throw a rock hard cake at her. You see if I don't do it. That little ass. Hard as a rock indeed. Thank you. 